Ryan here. Um, here at home uh, on a nice weekend. Actually, it's really hot down here. Didn't get out this weekend, but uh, here's a little uh, project I've been meaning to do. I've seen a few uh, YouTube videos on doing it and thought it'd be kind of neat to, to try it out and film my results. Okay, so what I got here is a couple of old rusty items that I found. Um, this was the uh, skeleton key I found a few weeks ago. Um, I found this old tobacco tin that still has some paint on it. Uh, it's kind of hard to read. I, I have identified it from, I think it's tobacco from the, the 20s. Um, I can't remember what it said though. But, and then this is an old rusty can. There's nothing really on it. Um, found this out at the ghost town a few weekends ago as well. I'm hoping that I can clean these up a little bit. Um, the tobacco tin for sure should clean up a little bit, get some nice um, writing on it. Uh, hopefully uh, the rust cleans off a little bit. There's really nothing on the back side right now. Um, but we'll see how it goes. The skeleton key, uh, it's just a iron key so it's rusty. I just thought I'd throw it in the mix just to see how it works. And uh, this can I'm not hoping much for but um, we'll see. There's really nothing you can read on it. It's just rusted can. It's kind of neat but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So basically what I got here is I got some citric acid. Uh, I ordered this just on Amazon um, and a uh, measuring cup, stick to stir it in and a uh, nice uh, nylon brush that's got you know a little coarseness to it to help scrub the the rust off the cans um, okay so what I got is a gallon of water in this bucket and from different accounts I've read different kind of recipes uh, basically 8 to 16 ounces per gallon um, 8 ounces to 16 ounces of the powdered citric acid to a gallon of water I said to use warm water, warm to almost boiling water. It's pretty warm out here down in the desert, so I'm just using water from the hose. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, maybe do 12 ounces. So I'll pour, there's 8 ounces I'll pour in there. Measure another 4 to add to it. So yeah, there's another 4 ounces just to add to it. Okay, I'll take this stick, little paint stir stick, and we'll just stir it in nice and good. And then we'll add uh, our rusted relics, rusty relics to the mix. And I think the idea is to let it soak for an hour or so, scrub it, and then let it soak for up to another 12 hours. We'll see how it goes. I've added the uh, rusty relics to the can to the bucket. Probably should be wearing gloves, but it is just citric acid. We'll see how it goes. Start burning my hand off. I guess we'll have a totally different video. So yeah, that's soaking in there. Here's the key. Tobacco tin. Ooh, I do feel that on my any cuts on my fingers. I should go wash my hands. Okay, we'll let that soak for a while. Uh, it should start bubbling a little bit too, so, oh yeah, actually I can see it bubbling in there, if you can see that. So yeah, it's doing its job. Okay, here's a close-up of a bag of citric acid that I bought. <laughs> we'll see if it works. It should. Um, Two-pound bag, it was like, I don't know, eight to ten bucks on Amazon free shipping with Prime, so not bad. Um, so yeah, it's food grade, natural preservative. Shouldn't be too toxic. Um, so yeah, from what I understand, you can just pour it down the sink when you're done. So yeah, we'll let it sit for an hour and check back and see how it looks. Okay, so my rusty cans have been sitting in the citric acid for well over an hour. Probably been more like an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, even had time to shower and shave. Let's take a look and see what they look like. 
the water's definitely got a lot more rusty colored. Um, I did scrub these a little bit about 20 minutes into it, but man, that old rusty can, I don't think there's going to be any paint on it, but that is definitely cleaning up a, a lot better. Let me scrub it for a little bit and take a look at it. Hold on a sec. Okay, here's what I have so far. This is, like I said, after soaking it for maybe an hour and a half or so. Um, man, this can, there's no paint on it. No label or anything, but that is just amazing. Let's see if I get a better shot out in the light. I don't know if that's better or not, but a lot of the rust has come off it just with soaking it and then brushing, giving it a good brushing with that coarse nylon brush. Um, but yeah, that is just amazing. Let's see. Make sure it focuses on that. Now the tobacco tin, which I thought would be a lot better, still hasn't came off. I mean, at least as well as that can, but um, you can see it says Union Leader Ready Cut Tobacco. Um, it's coming in a little bit better. I'll let it soak for quite a bit longer and, and give it some more scrubbing and see how that turns out. My key, I don't notice any difference. I mean, really, I know what uh, some of you are probably thinking. I need to do electrolysis on the key. Um, I just thought I'd throw it in there just to see what it did. Um, it's, it's an old iron key. It's not brass or anything, so it's... It came out of the ground crusty. It will probably stay that way, but yeah, it's worth it. It's just an experiment, you know, worth a try. So, anyways, I'm gonna put it back in the solution and let it soak for another few hours and scrub it a little bit more, and I'll show you how it looks. Thanks. Okay, so we're now what seven hours into it. Um, I pulled the the tobacco tin and the. I'm assuming it's a beer can, actually. But, um, man, I'm just amazed. The tobacco tin, not so much, but the beer can. Let me show you what it looks like. So, yeah, here they are. This is seven hours of soaking, uh, a little bit of scrubbing. I think the final step is to apply some oil, maybe olive oil or something to it, just so it kind of absorbs some of the color and keeps it. But this is the can. If you remember what that looked like at the beginning of the video, I mean, it was a rusty can. Um, and now there are some parts that, I mean, it's just amazing. I don't know how old this is. I found it in a ghost town that is from the 1870s, 1880s. I, I don't know if that can is that old or not. Um, there's even like still like the lead, the lead seal on the top, a little solder seal or something. But you can see a church key punctured the... I mean, it's some kind of liquid. I'm assuming it's beer. Um, and I don't know when they first started canning beer. I should look that up. But um, anyways, I'm just amazed. That is really cool. What a great way to restore some rusty relics. I would recommend it if if you have something that you want to get the rust off or see what the paint looks like. Now, here's the tobacco tin. Well, I guess I should show the, the key first. The key really didn't do much for anything. Like I said before, um, electrolysis would really clean this up a little bit, but it's so rusty, I wouldn't want it to break apart or anything, so I'm going to leave it how it is. Here's the tobacco tin. Um, it's kind of hard to see when it dries. If I get some oil, I think the colors will pop a little bit more. I mean, that's kind of neat. The But anyways, it's, it's a Union Leader Ready Cut Tobacco. You can see the Union Leader, picture of the Union Leader. I'll uh, post a picture in the corner here of what a nice can looks like. I've seen them online, so I'll get a picture and show you. But I think I'm through soaking the can and the key. I think I'll maybe soak the tobacco tin overnight. I just wanted to kind of record what it looks like now because it's looking pretty good, but I might be able to get more detail out of it. So definitely a lot more rust is gone. Um, the back side's still just like toast, and the bottom's all rusted out, but kind of cool. Definitely was a neat experiment to do, and um, so yeah, 
We'll we'll uh, pull it out in the morning and see how it looks. Okay, so here's the finished uh, product after soaking in a citric acid solution. Um, and I did rub a little bit of olive oil on this to kind of keep the color. Here's the can. I did some research. This is actually more than likely uh, uh, evaporative milk. Evaporated milk can uh, about 1900 to 1920, uh, which would fit the time period of the the ghost town that I found it in. Um, it's uh, definitely um, identifiable by the lead solder on the top, and uh, beer cans didn't really make the scene until about 1935. So uh, that's what that is. Still amazed by the condition of that. Here's the tobacco tin. Uh, Union Leader Ready Cut Tobacco. I left this in overnight, so it was soaking for about 17 hours. Um, and it's starting to deteriorate, you can see. So that was probably a little too long. But what remains of the paint, the color really does pop. It does look good. I'm really impressed. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.